Hi. Hello, hello. Hola, can you guys hear me? Hi, yes. Hi, how are you? I'm okay. Thank you for asking. How are you? I'm okay. It's been a very busy day and a very long day, but I'm okay. Where is everybody? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> today is like our Friday because tomorrow we have no class and people just sleep today. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Rocio. Hi, Elmer. Hi, Annie. How are you? Good evening, my dear teacher. How are you, my dear student? Fine. <laughs> Annie, can you hear us well? Da risa. Because you're crazy. Yes, but for you. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> it won't change. Hi, Annie. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine. How are you? Fine. Thank you. Excellent. All right, guys. Very good. So we're going to begin with section two. Is that okay? Okay. Or do you want to review a little bit more about the, the uh, passive voice with simple present and simple past? Or you feel you understand it? Uh, I review, but a little. Okay. Daniel, how do you feel about the topic? Are you okay with that topic? Or are you like, mm? Mm, For me, I, I'm okay. You're okay. All right. And Rocio and Elmer? You can choose. We only have five students today. <laughs> For now. Rocio, how do you feel with the topic? You feel okay? Rocio. ¿Se me durmió Rocio en class? All right. Vamos a esperar que entren otros compañeros otro ratito y vamos a hacer el repaso al revés. Vamos a empezar ahorita con la unit two. And, or the section two, and then if we have more, when we have more classmates, we're going to make the review for the uh, passive voice, simple present, and simple past. Okay? Okay. Okay. All right, guys. So we're going to begin section two, and the very, the very first topic that we have there is the past continuous versus the simple past. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to review a little bit about simple past because you guys know that and like separately and then we're going to talk a little bit about the past continuous separately and then we're going to join them together. Okay. okay. So that's the plan. All right. Um, Annie, what do you remember about simple past? Just the simple past. What do you remember about simple past? Uh, remember it uh, for the verb. Mm -hmm. in, in base form plus okay. in regular verbs plus the particular ed. All right, okay. So those are the regular verbs. Very mm -hmm. good. And then we also have irregular verbs, right? Remember that? Yes. Okay. So uh, remember that or remind me, uh, Daniel, what is the auxiliary with, that we use in simple past? And it doesn't matter if it's for regular or irregular verbs. Do you remember? Auxiliary. Uh -huh. We have an auxiliary for simple past. Which one is it? Hi, Gadiel. Uh, uh, I don't know. Did? No? Did, yes, of course. Did. Okay. okay. Yes, very good. We use did for past negative and we use did for, uh, for questions in simple past. Okay. When we talk about uh, affirmative sentences in simple past, we just need to memorize the verbs, okay? Because we need to express what we did yesterday, what we ate last week, where we went for holidays, okay? So remember that the only, hi Noemi, hi Noemi, what happened yesterday? Hi, tengo controlada. All right, so remember that for simple, I mean for affirmative sentences, you need to know the verbs, okay? Is that clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. So let's see. Um, Gadiel, can you hear me? Okay. All right. Good, night. Good evening. Gadiel, can you tell me what you did last weekend? Um, about the passive voice with. No, right with now. Ah, yeah, you just came in. No, hold on. 
We are beginning unit or section two tonight, okay? We're going to make a review a little later okay. about passive voice, but I need to move on with the next topic. Hi, Jennifer. So okay. right now, Gadiel, we're going to be, because we're talking about section two, We the first topic on section two is past continuous versus simple past, okay? So what okay. we're doing is we're dividing, like right now we're studying or remembering about simple past, and then we'll talk about past continuous, and then we will join them together, okay? Okay. So, okay. Gabriel, think about simple past, only simple past, normal sentences. Tell me what you did last weekend. Last weekend, I ran a 10 kilometer. You run 10 kilometers? Run. Yeah. All right. Very nice. Where did you run, Gabriel? Yeah. I. Where did you run? Ah, where do you run? I ran in all Las Cascadas. Ah, oh, all right. I, yeah, this. Yeah, I, um, I visited, uh, in my job, I visited San Martin. Oh, okay, very nice. All right, nice. All right, yeah. let's see. Thank you. Rocio, are you there? I guess she's not. All right. Um, Daniel, what did you uh, what did you eat this morning? Did you eat anything? Yes, I I ate. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, I, I I ate uh, cereal. I, I don't know why. Cereal? You you cereal, you had cereal? Uh, cereal. Uh -huh. Cereal with milk. All right, very good with milk. Very nice. Uh, let's see. Um, Jennifer, where um, where did you study English last year? I studied English in uh, uh, with you. All right, at English Corporativo. <laughs> All right, very good. Yes. English Corporativo. Yes, yes, very good. Noemi, where did you... Hi, Noe. Good evening. Good evening. Ayer se nos dio la fuga. Sí, tuve dificultades porque usamos la computadora, mi hija y yo, y entonces ni modo. Oh, my goodness. All right, that's okay. Noemi, where did you and your daughter go last? I mean, where did you go? Uh, my darling and my daddy and my and I uh, and I uh, going. What's the past of go, Noe? Go um is one. A simple past right now, Noemi. What is the past of go? Go. No me acuerdo, teacher. Oh, my goodness. Uh huh. Guys. Ya tengo la punta de la lengua. Of no course. Acuerdo. Went. Thank you. Went. Yo dije won casi. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. So uh -huh. your daughter and I, my, my uh, you, you went in um, Brazil. Okay. You went to Brazil. Very good. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Noe. Okay, guys. So remember that when we talk about simple past, Affirmative mm -hmm. sentences, we need to know the verbs, okay? Si usted no se puede los verbos, va a estar hablando como pero es presente y a saber. All right, so you get confused. So you need to practice the verbs, yes? Yes. Okay, yeah. so that's simple past. Now, when we talk about past continuous, we talk about the use of the verb be, was, or were, plus ing. It's very similar to the present continuous, but this time it's past continuous. So I say, I was talking. Eh, Daniel was listening. Gadiel and Annie were practicing. Jennifer and Rocio were um, laughing. Okay. Then who else do I have here? Eh, Rocio and... Rocio, ¿por qué la tengo dos veces en línea? <laughs> that's okay, Rocio, that's okay. 
Eh, Elmer and Jennifer were eating. All right. So whenever we use the past continuous, we need to use the past of be, was, or were plus the ing of the following verb. Okay. And then we don't need the auxiliary did in that case. Do you understand that? Yes. Yes. The, right. the, yes, I uh, understand. An infinitive verb teacher. Only no. infinitive. What do you el, mean? Es, es el, el auxiliar con el verbo en infinitivo. En, con el verbo con ing. Ajá, ING. con el verbo con ing. Sí, es infinitivo. Gerundio, pues. Mm. Gerundio. No, no ya. Ah, el pasado <laughs> continuo. El pasado <laughs> continuo, exacto. Ajá. Pasado right. simple, solo el where, was y el verbo en pasado. Y el verbo en pasado con el auxiliar did, si fuese el caso que lo tenemos que usar. Ok. All right, in negative and question. Ok, but in this case, we're using the simple past of being where. Y el verbo que le sigue sería con ing, ¿ya? Ajá, y ese verbo nomás es ing, no es en pasado este verbo. Es pasado no. continuo. El pasado continuo. Uh -huh. Okay. Y ahorita se lo muestro. A ver, tenemos esto, Elmer. Veamos. Elmer y todos, obviamente. So, simple past versus past continuous. When do we use each tense? Okay. So, we have number one, use the simple past for actions. Oh, estos son los usos, ¿verdad? The actions that happen in the past and is over, is done, is finished, is not happening anymore. Usted, eh, Daniel me dijo que desayunó cereal. Ya no está desayunando ahorita, ya se lo comió. All right. Eh, mm -hmm. Noemi and her daughter went to Brazil. Ya fueron y ya regresaron. All right. Um, Jennifer studied English with All right, last year. Y estaba en otro módulo. All right. So, remember the simple past. You begin the action and you finish the action. But when we use the past continuous, we use it for actions, an action that was in progress at a specific point in the past, okay? Or number two, it says focusing on an action that continued for a long time in the past. We're going to see the examples right now. Let's see, Rocio, can you read the actions, please? Or the examples, action that was completed in the past. Rocío, um, your microphone, Rocío. I'm going fishing. Teacher, antes que pase, ¿podría regresar las reglas que tenía antes? Yeah. Por favor. Ajá, quiero copiarla. Gracias. Thank you. You're welcome. Rocío, ready? Ready. Okay, so simple past examples. Read them, please. Simple past examples. Mm -hmm. Action that was completed in the past. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, Tom went fishing last week. I worked until 2, a 2 p.m. yesterday. Mm -hmm. My family came to visit me last year all right very good continue time expressions frequently used with the simple past yesterday last can be week what? last year last sunday last whatever uh-huh okay past dates in 1990 mm -hmm. Podemos decir uh, five years ago. Uh, uh, seven days ago. Very good. Okay. An hour ago. Y ya es pasado. Ya. Yeah? An uh, hour ago no teníamos clase porque eran las ocho. Uh, an hour ago. Uh, All right. Very good. Thank you. Let's see. Mm -hmm. um, now I need someone else to read the past continuous examples. Who wants to read the past continuous examples? I need a Anna. A volunteer? Um, okay. Hi. hi. Past continuous examples. Action that was in progress at a particular point in the past. 
at two two o'clock yesterday mm -hmm. Tom was playing soccer okay so yeah wasn't home last night when I called her I think she was working okay Sa and her husband were visiting us last week all right so if you notice what we have in blue thank you Jennifer we have was playing was working were visiting that is the past continuous okay we need the verb be plus the ing of the verbs okay okay now the grammar structure let's see uh what oh what they're very good uh daniel del cid can you read this grammar grammar structure mm -hmm. continue please can you hear me? Yes, we, I can hear you, yes. Okay, okay. Here are some reminders. Yes, about, reminders, uh-huh. About how to make the simple past and past continuous. Okay, very good, thank you. Continue, uh, Daniel. The past continuous. Don't forget that verb B is part of this structure. A structure, uh-huh. I, he, she, it, was, Plus? You, we, they, were, plus, verb, ing. Right, okay. So this is, what, this is how you make the past continuous. I, he, she, it, was, plus, ing. Or you, we, they, were, plus, ing. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Here we have examples. Again, Walter Guerrero, can you read, please? Okay, uh, my mom was trying to call me last night, but I wasn't home. Oh, okay. My mom was trying, thank you. My mom was trying to call me last night, but I was not home. Very good. Let's see the other example. I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Uh, that sense, if I say my mom tried to call me last night, uh, and yeah. simple past. Sure. That's yeah, it. You can say it. Mm -hmm. Now, okay. you say, my mom tried to call me last night. And maybe the sentence can be, like, finished right there. In this case, you say, my mom was trying to call me last night, but something else happened. Okay? Mm, okay. All right. Very good. Walter, continue with the next one. Okay. The kids were standing last night at night. Mm-hmm. And the last example, Walter? I was cleaning my, my house all day yesterday. Okay, very good. Then we have past continuous negative. Um, let me see who else I have here. No, I uh, read this one. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, the past continuous negative for this tense, simple ADD, the word. Simple not, add, simply add, no me. Add, oh, sorry. Not okay. Simple add the word, not after the verb be. Right. Uh huh, continue, Noi. They were arguing. 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 Last night. Arguing. 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 All right, yeah, arguing. arguing. Uh -huh. Casi me trago la lengua de niña. Arguing, arguing last night. night. <laughs> Ellos estaban discutiendo ah. anoche. Arguing. We're arguing. 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 No, no, no. Arguing. 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 Ajá. Arguing. Ya casi, ya casi. Yes, of course. El pan. <laughs> last night. <laughs> they were not. Arguing uh -huh. last night. Excellent. Okay, very good. What, what is the infinitive of this verb? Argue. To argue. 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 The spelling, uh, Daniel, is... Plus ing. Yeah, ing. Yeah. The, the infinitive mm. is A-R-G-U-E. Ah, uh, okay. Argue, uh-huh. Thank you. Okay. She was yelling Yelling. Me. Yelling, yelling at me. At me. Uh -huh. She was not yelling at me. 
Okay, you understand yelling? No. no. Gritándome. No. Oh, Gritar. Yeah. To yell is the verb, all right? Yelling is gritando. Okay. She was yelling at me. She was not yelling at me. Very good. Continue. Uy. Eh, can you read this, please? Important notes about past continuous. ¿Quién está manchando Import. mi pizarra? <laughs> No, 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 no. Import not about. Today, no. Okay. Jennifer? <laughs> no. Okay. Import not about past continuous. Some verbs are not typically yes. used in the continuous tense. Instead, we prefer to we use. We prefer. We prefer. To use this verb in the simple tense, simple present or past. Okay. Okay. This verb mm -hmm. or colon are called stative, a stative, a stative, a stative or, verbs. Uh -huh. a or stative or not action verbs. Okay. Okay. Here are some examples. Some examples. A ver. Tenemos el verbo want, know, believe, forget, need, like, see, understand, remember, love, hear, hate, have y, be y belong. Estos por lo general no los usamos con el pasado eh, continuo. ¿Ok? Usted no dice I was wanting. Qué okay, raro. Uh, she was knowing. All right. Esos verbos se les llama stative verbs, que son como de estado, de estar, no de acción, ¿ok? Eh, mm -hmm. I was having, tampoco. I was remembering, very raro, all right? So usually, pero subrayo usually, porque en inglés hay muchas variantes y ex excepciones. So we say, usually we don't use in the, uh, in the t continuous tenses, ¿ok? Only we use it on the simple tenses. But then, I mean, this is just a matter of practicing, okay? Okay. Let's see. Uh, Gabriel, can you read the examples, please? Okay, okay, okay. 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 What's happening? With, what's happening with the screen? You, you don't see it? No. What about the other ones? The other guys, can you see it? Yes. 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 Uh, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Example. Uh -huh. I like Roma. Rome. Rome. Not yes. I was liking Rome. Right. Okay. So you say, I like she Rome. Mm -hmm. I like Rome. <laughs> she had a headache. Not she was ha having a headache. Mm -hmm. Headache. I knew the headache. I knew the answer, not I was knowing the answer. Right. Knew the answer. You don't say I was knowing the answer. All right. Very good. Now, this is when uh, we use the two tenses together. Lo vamos, vamos a empezar a usar ambas eh, tiempos verbales en una misma oración. Tienen preguntas sobre cada tiempo por separado antes de unirlos. Questions? Um, no? Si? ¿Sí? Alguna? No, Hay un montón, creo yo. No, teacher, solo las excepciones, ¿verdad? Que se van a utilizar únicamente en un pasado simple. En ese caso. O, sí. en, un o en un presente simple, cuando son stated verbs, ¿ok? Ok. Eso es ahí. igual hay que aprendernos cuáles son, porque hay más. No son, no solo eso. Vieron ahí, no son solo eso, son, hay más, ¿ok? Uh -huh. okay. Ahora, acuérdese que el pasado simple es para expresar algo que ya pasó y terminó. Empezó y terminó. El pasado continuo es una acción que empezó y que está en progreso, ¿verdad? Y algo puede suceder y es aquí donde se unen las dos tiempos verbales. Okay. okay, yes, all right. No more questions? No. Sí. no. All right, so we say, 
use past progressive or past continuous is the, the same with simple past to describe an action that was interrupted by another action, okay? So this is when we join those two tenses together. Look, listen to this example. It says they were enjoying the morning, past continuous, when the thief stole the briefcase. Stole is the simple past, yes? Entonces, ¿cuándo vamos a usar el, el, perdón, el pasado eh, continuo con el pasado simple? Cuando una acción está sucediendo o estaba sucediendo y otra interrumpió. Ok, so yo le digo, I was, por ejemplo, I was eating my supper when my mother called me. Ok, entonces yo estaba haciendo algo y de repente otra cosa sucedió. O le digo, oh, I was driving in the afternoon when um, I had the accident. Ok, uh -huh. you understand? Yes. I was yeah. studying English last year when uh, I went to, uh, I don't know, Mexico. Okay, so you had to interrupt your studies. Look at this one here. Y es, esto es muy similar al que, a, a, a lo que está en la plataforma. Es como una, eh, un, un chart así o una estructura así. Está el past y está pasando algo. All right? Y de repente una cosa llega y... This is, uh, they were enjoying, uh, here they were enjoying, and then, aquí pasó algo. The thief stole the briefcase. Yes? Aquí está el present, aquí está el future, pero aquí estamos hablando en este lapso del past, acá. All right? Okay. Okay. Obviamente no solo ahora vamos a hablar de este tema. Este tema necesita Sí, está, está marañón ese, teacher. Y hay, hay, un, <risa> hay una, eh, Sí, y hay unas palabras que la tenemos que... Igual están en la plataforma, igual les invito a que vean la plataforma en el weekend, ya de la sección 2, porque igual lunes vamos a seguir hablando de esto. Ahorita es como la intro, ¿verdad? vamos a hacer ejercicios simples ahorita y todo, pero lunes seguimos con esto y unas palabritas claves que usamos en el past continuous, ¿ok? Okay. A ver, veamos este acá. Ya lo voy a poner a hacer ejercicios, don't worry. Um, the man was reading, while the man was reading, the prisoner was stealing his wallet. Ok, vamos a ver. Eh, hágame un favor, copie o tome la foto como se quiera, pero nada más al uno, number one, number two, three, Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Y no me copie el, el, el amarillo que está en, perdón, el cinco que está en amarillo. Ese no. Number okay. one, solo ponga talk and drink. Number two, shine and splash. Number three, play and watch. Number four, not look and burn. Number five, talk and sit. Yes? Okay. Copy those five, please. Let me know when you finish. Yes. Okay. Daniel, you finished? Finish. Yes, thank you. I finished. finished. Very good. Yes. yes. All right. Yes. Daniel, you, did you finish? Walter, Flor, hi, Flor. ¿Qué yes. le pasó ayer, Flor? Se me dio a la fuga con Noemí. Qué barbaridad. <laughs> eh, Walter, Elmer, Annie, yes, finish? Yes. 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 Excellent. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. Yo voy a hacer uno ahorita. Solo déjeme aquí. Vamos a ver. Ya se lo voy a compartir. Permítame. A ver. No, eh, dígame, eh, no sabe que voy a hacer otra. Walter, regáleme un verbo, cualquier verbo, en presente ahorita. Uh, cook. Ok. Eh, él me regáleme otro verbo, cualquier otro verbo. Run. Run. Uh, run. De correr. No, yo sé, yo sé. Ah. Mm, pero no me pega, piensa en otro. 
Ay, Dios, y entonces. Apíreme. Ah, va. Eso está mejor, va. So, eh, eso es lo que vamos a hacer. Yo tengo este verbo, tengo dos verbos y voy a decir, I was cooking. Y, y, si, y, si, le, y si le pegaba, fíjese. Yo corría a la cocina cuando se me estaba quemando lo que yo estaba ah, cocinando. I was cooking, no. When I cut my finger. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, yes. I was cooking when I cut my finger. Por eso no cocino, porque siempre... No, mentira. I was cooking when I cut my finger, ¿ok? Entonces, algo así, similar a esto, van a trabajar ustedes con los cinco pares de verbos que tienen, ¿ok? Uno lo van a... Bueno, se van a ir a trabajar en sus grupos. One is going to be past continuous and the other one simple past. Una acción está pasando o estaba pasando cuando otra la interrumpe, ¿ya? We need to use when. In y ese cut case, lo dejó, perdón, perdón. Sí, dígame, dígame. Ese, ese cortar lo dejó en presente, teacher. No, sí, I was no. cooking when I cut. Don Elmer, regálenme el presente, el presente de cortar es cut, ¿cierto? Sí. ¿Cuál es el pasado, mi niño? En mm, ahí, teacher. ¿Mm? En ahí le digo, no ¿Qué sé. Es Cut. Ah, ¿qué es eso? Va, es el mismo, no, para todos no, los tiempos. No poseo esa información. Oh, my goodness, el mercado. <risa> 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 no se puede, el <risa> Just give me a second here, guys. Déjeme ver una cosa aquí, por favor. <risa> Okay, so you are going to be using your, I want you to do the same thing as my example. I was cooking when, y vamos a empezar a usar la palabra when, entre medio, cuando algo sucedió, okay? Yeah? Guys, you understand? Yes, teacher. All right, okay. Yes. So, so go to your groups right now. I'm going to send you to your groups. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Go to your groups y trabajenme con esas cinco pares de verbos que tienen ahí. Florcita, Noemí, ¿no le salió la invitación? Flor, ¿le salió la invitación, Flor? No le estoy escuchando ahorita, Flor. Flor, no le puedo escuchar nada. Y su micrófono no está apagado. Y si vuelve a reiniciar su computadora o su teléfono, Flor, tal vez así logra entrar otra vez y tal vez se le ayuda eso con el micro. Eh, ahorita Rocío está esperándola usted en el grupo. Voy a sacar a Rocío de ahí en lo que usted pueda tal vez solventar ese problema. Oye. King when we drunk some beers. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Eh, Ajá, y pero como dice que lo entiendo. Pero, mire, pero. 
pero por qué, o sea, ¿cuál fue la acción? Estábamos hablando cuando nos, no, nos tomamos una cerveza. Ah. Ey, ey, what happened? <risa> no le gusta. No, actually no. no. Sorry. No. no, no, pero está bien escrito. Um, ah, eso sí. Ah, bueno. Está bien, es, dicho. Yes, ya. Ah, bueno, ok. Um, y de repente nos siguieron hablando porque ya no tenían lógica en lo que decían. Ya. Yeah. Fuera pendejada, en serio. ¿Cuál es favor de ese <risa> Oiga, Elmer, yo nunca he dicho malas palabras, teacher. Elmer oy, es, uy, uy, el él es el que incentiva, oiga. Shine. ¿Qué es el nombre en Shine, teacher? Shine, eh, the sun shines. No. Brillar. Eh, ah. Brillar, ajá. Like a, the sun was shine, shining, shining, shining. Ah, uh -huh. Tenían ya rato went, de no trabajar juntos, ¿verdad? Went sí. a Nunca fish. Nos ponen juntos. Es que la con... A fish splash near me. Está bien, bien, ¿cómo se llama? Uh -huh. Bien motivado, Elmer, ahorita. Bien, no, inspirada no. es la palabra. Inspirado, que de menos vi los videos de Sam. Dios, ya me voy. Bella. Bye. Splash, splash. Va de pa. Estoy looking for that. Splash. Splash. Splash, de pa, splash. That's right, yes, it's regular verb. Okay. okay. The song was when, shining. When the when the when the, we splashed in the water into the water. Hmm? Who, who? Into the water. No, the song was shining when the song was shining when we when we a splash mm -hmm. into the water. Very good. Yeah. Okay. The pool. No. Yes. Into the water sounds good. Or into the pool, whatever you want. It makes sense. It's good. Okay. Uh, play and watch. Uh, for example, um, How do you say VR? Pool. Pool. Ah. Mm -hmm. Like, P like swimming pool. P O O L. Oh. Ah. I was playing pool when my friend watched me. Watched me. Watched me. Okay. What? Hey, talking, talking, mm -hmm. talking. Uh, repeat, please, Rocio. Uh, uh, mm, for example, the man is 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 telling this sentence. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, my wife was talking by phone when I sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. When I what? Sit down. Sit. Eh, paso. Mm. Sit is. Sat down. Sat Excellent. Down. Thank you. Uh huh. When? When, when, when I sat down at the table or oh, at, at, at the chair. Sure. <laughs> I, I don't or know. Or oh, at the floor or the floor. Uh -huh. Sat down. Yes, Teacher, I don't yes. have an idea when how to use China Splash. Can you help you? Me, help can us. you give us uh, an yes. example? Sure. Um, let's see. The, you can say up something about the sun. The sun was shining when I don't know when the baby splashed me. When I don't know when the mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the sun was shining mm -hmm. when when 
when the my fountain my is plus <laughs> sure yes okay splash the water when uh -huh, something splash the water mm -hmm. something this could be an option really yeah it could be an option right yeah Okay. Playing pool. When I was playing pool. Nosotros platicamos mientras. No, se puede, se puede. O se puede hacer al revés. Sí. Ah, okay. My dear teacher. Hello. Uh, I I can uh, switch the the word that verbs. If you want well, to. For example. Yes, we were sitting. What do you say? Uh -huh. uh, mientras. How do you say mientras? While. La palabra que vamos a ver el, el uso. While. Pero ya la estamos practicando, dice. While. Excellent. Uh -huh. <laughs> we. Es que este Elmer ya oh. hizo como el, el, el la sección 3. Sí, ya terminó toda pila. la plataforma. Puta, de verdad. Ella. ¡Niña! No. Noemí, what happened? Es que me admira este hombre. Es que no. Nos lleva no. corriendo a todos. El ver, ya terminó, niño. No, no, si no he empezado todavía. My dear teacher. Ay, cómo no, porque hay... Uh -huh. <risa> eh, Las puede ver. ¿A quién? Las oraciones, yo sé que a mí no, pero las oraciones... Y mire, ¿y por qué ustedes se, se ponen en un oscurito? Ah, porque estoy chulón. <risa> ok, ah, porque es así. Thank you. <risa> <risa> Buena respuesta. ¿no? Flor, ¿para cuál, Flor? Mire, Flor está seria, ve, y ustedes ahí hay un quianto. Flor, no, ah, no mira, era muda. Mire, mire Elmer, Elmer este, Flor puso ahí en el chat que es lo correcto es burn it. Pero fíjese que hay verbos pues, como, como este, burned, que puede ser con ed o con o, o es regular o puede ser irregular. Igual que el verbo aprender, learned con ed. Entonces, o sea que esa era mi pregunta, esa era mi siguiente pregunta. Es, así como usted lo está viendo a este momento, ¿es también algún verbo que me haya... Equivocado, my dear we, teacher. We're talking, we're, we're talking. Sí, fíjese que la número dos, el verbo no está en pasado. El deficient. El deficient. El, no, 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 no. No. Ahí es un... Splice. Excellent. Splice. Uh, was, ah, was, was it? Splice. 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 Como salpicar, no, no. ¿verdad? Ajá, es. Splashed. Y di. Splash. Let me see. Is. Splash. Splash, ajá. Yes, it is. It is. Splashed. Y di. Splash. Termina en ed, ahí. Eh, ve que flor la oí. Splashed. 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 Es placed near me. Uh -huh. Julio and Carlos Julian. were playing football when? Watching the cachimbazo de agua. <laughs> Va a espantar a Flor, el mercal, me dice. Julio and Carlos were playing football <laughs> when? <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice cachimbazo? <laughs> I'm not going to answer to that question. Julio and Carlos were playing football when? They watched the sky when they watched the, the cloudy sky. Póngale mejor porque es como que... The cloudy. The cloudy sky. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y te le cambien de storm porque es como... Cloudy. No, no, eso no es cloudy. Uh -huh. Cloudy. C-L-O-U-D-Y. Cloudy. Only one, only one D, Elmer. Yeah, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. um, Hasta ahí déjela. Okay, I'm, I'm coming this show. 
I mean, póngale Cloudy Sky. Sky. Cloudy Sky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cloudy Sky and Common Storm. Common Storm. De cachimbazo de agua. They were not looking when the house burned. Okay. That's si nos pide, idea. esa hay que decirla de la teacher. Ajá, uh eso -huh, es <laughs> We were sitting while we talked. No, a mí no me va a preguntar. We were Porque... sitting. Estamos sentados, were... estamos sentados cuando hablamos. Estábamos sentando mientras estábamos platicando. No, mientras, mientras hablamos. Uh -huh. Porque ese es pasado simple. Ajá. Uh -huh. No sé, no tendría más sentido la vuelta de esa oración. We talk. Le damos vuelta. We Media vez se deje. Ay, no. Eh, regáleme, regáleme un ejemplo. Bye, regáleme un ejemplo. Bye, bye. No, no, no. Regáleme un ejemplo. Elmer, solo de, ponga el primer verbo. I mean, we, we talk. We were, we were oh, talk. Oh, espérame, espérame. We were talking. Ajá. No, es que no. We talk while we were talking. Yo lo puse al revés. We're talking while, while we're sitting. We sitting. Where, where no, we, sit. While we sat. sat. Seated, no, hijo. No. Espéreme, pues. Espéreme, pues. We're talking while. We were talking while we sat. Okay. Sat. Yeah. Sat. Sit. Sit. No, sat. No, sat. Sit, sat, sat. No, sat. 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 Mm, se tiene que sat. aprender esos verbos, niño. Ya me di cuenta yo. I uh -huh. see, teacher. We were talking while we sat. Ya, ya vengo. Voy a ver eh, otro grupo. Puedo aprovecharme de usted. Pero... ¿Se acuerda un listado que nos mandó la vez pasada? ¿Será que, que me lo partí? Y hoy sí se lo va a aprender. Y hoy sí se lo va a aprender. Well. Obi, hasta los oh, andaba hello. pegados ahí en el tablero del carro. Excellent, very good. Sí, se lo voy a mandar. Y en las trabazones así me los, me los ponía a aprender. Excellent, very good. Ok. Hi guys, did you finish? Yes, teacher. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, but I was with a group that didn't understand one thing. I was talking when my mom drank coffee. The sun was shining when we splashed into. El into es unido. Into. Okay. Into sure. the water. I was playing pool when my friend watched me. She was not looking when the bread burned. Oh my goodness. She was talking. <laughs> sat in the chair. Perfect. Thank you. Very good. Well done. Okay, we're going to go back. Vamos a compartir y nos vamos a preparar Perfect. para las palabritas claves. Una ya la estamos usando. Estamos usando el when y ahí está la otra. When? Right? Para poder okay. unir esos dos tiempos. Okay. Okay, we're going to go back right now. All right, guys, let's see. Um, Daniel, can you share your sentences, please, with the group? Daniel Del Cid, can you share your sentences? Okay. So everybody can see it here, right? So number one, he says, Aha, Daniel, le hace las a sus compañeritos. Your microphone, Daniel, is off. Can you hear me? Yes, now we can. Yes. Okay. Uh, the first sentence is, uh, I was talking when my mom drank coffee. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, the sun was shining when we splashed into the water. When we splashed. Mm -hmm. Splashed. Uh, three... And I was playing pool when my friend watched, watched me. Watched me. Watched right. me. Uh, she was not looking when the bread burned. Burned, uh-huh. She was talking when he sat in the shade. All right, very good. Thank you. All right, Noemi's group, can you share uh, your sentences? Noemi, Flor, and Elmer, can you share, share your sentences? No? 
What was the other group? Rocio, you have your sentence. Hola, me falta otro grupo ahí. Si gusta, se las digo yo. Ah, ok. Dear. Ok, thank you, Herman. Le voy a compartir mi, mi pantalla y los, lo que hicimos es We were talking when we, we drunk some beers. Mm -hmm. The sun was shining when a fish flight near me. A splash near me, ajá. Uh -huh. Julia and Carlos were playing football when they watched the cloudy sky and come in the storm. Mm -hmm. You have to tell your speech at the time sound. <laughs> They were not looking when the house burned. Okay. We were talking while we sat. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, thank you, Elmer. Can you stop sharing? Thank you. All right. What was the other group? ¿Quién está en el otro grupo? En el tercero que me falta. Rocío, were you in another group? Annie, Garay. Were... Yes, in this in this group, but I don't I don't I didn't write face. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. But do you remember the sentences? Yes, I agree. For example, I was driving with my my friend when my mom took to me. Talk to me, okay. Talk to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm, I was watching when my sister played the guitar. Oh, nice. Uh huh. I was not looking the, the toaster when the bread burned. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> my the sun was shining when somebody splashed water. Okay. All right, very good. Okay, guys, so uh, we uh, next Monday we're gonna remember that tomorrow we have no class okay so tomorrow you relax well yeah uh, but you need practice to, yeah you need to practice and you need to watch the platform so on Monday we're gonna keep on talking a little bit about uh, this topic y vamos a darle eh, vamos a a empezar a unir bueno a seguir uniendo estos dos tiempos con la palabra bueno when que usamos ahora y la otra que nos va a tocar el lunes que es while es mientras when. yo estaba cantando eh, when. When. el niño estaba el niño lloró all right or something like that all right so that's what, what that is what we're going to be talking on Monday but I need you to watch the platform okay yes so you okay, understand what we're talking about Okay, teacher. So tomorrow, I mean, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yes, you don't have a class with me, but remember that the platform is open 24 seven. Okay, so the idea is for you to go and doing like to work on your exercises, on your knowledge checks, okay? Y busquese una listita de verbos por ahí y estudien la Noemi. Okay, ya, teacher. All right. Ir también. Una cosa que sí es importante y acuérdeme de, de compartirla con ustedes en la clase el lunes es los que vienen conmigo desde el año pasado lo, la trabajamos es, es una tabla para poder pronunciar los pasados regulares. Todos okay. terminan en ed, pero no todos se pronuncian que watched, eh, burned. Dance, no, fuera mucho más fácil la vida así, pero lastimosamente no es así. My dear teacher. Hay reglas para, para escuchar eso, dígame. Eh, hablando de compartir, eh, tal vez nos puede enviar su, su presentación si no es mucha la molestia. Thank you. Ok, entonces eso es importante. Eso es importante que eh, sepamos cómo se pronuncian los verbos en, en, en los verbos regulares para que se oigan así como bien sophisticated. All right? Entonces, okay, ¿me acuerdan teacher. el lunes para poder las, eh, enseñárselas en la clase? E igual les va a servir de recordatorio a Walter, a Noemí, a, a Elmer, a Jennifer, que ya la vieron, pero igual, ¿verdad? Para que nos recordemos un poquito de esas reglas. ¿Ok? Okay. All right, guys. So thank you so much. I will see you Monday. You. Have a nice weekend. 
and study, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you. Bye. See you. Bye-bye.